Okay, I'm bored, you're bored, let's get this over with. It's going to be part three of what if Deku what is a mermaid. <clears throat> let's time to get to the next day. And goes so happy to have her son back. And she is super pissed that her husband played it off like he ran away or got kidnapped. But she doesn't care right now. She has Deku, and that's all that matters. They head to the court doctor to have his new abilities actually registered, but they willingly forget or forget to add the whole mind control part. He add his beautiful voice. He add the hydro as well as electrokinesis and the Spider-Man like web thing. Not to mention his new form that he actually came up with. Yeah, it was very surprising to see this. And actually, while when they're on the way out, they actually meet someone. Deku actually ends up meeting Froppy. Yeah, she ended up going to the court daughter because she just realized that she can actually secrete this weird poison-like thing that isn't very effective, but it's still worth noting. Probably sees Deku and sees the last game. Huh, who is it? Who are you? My name is Azuki Midoriya, and you are... Uh, ah, sweet, but you can just call me Sue. Okay, Sue, so, uh, what are you doing here? Well, I had to update my quirk. I, it turns out I unlocked a new ability, which I can actually secrete this weird, like, mucus-type stuff to, that as as a slow-acting poison. Wow. That's, that's pretty amazing. Really? Yeah. Yeah, I mean... If you're training enough, who knows, it may actually be fast acting. Huh, I never thought of it like that. But, so, uh, why are you here? I'm to update my quirk. It's been a while, so... What do you mean? This is when Inko and Asui's parents show, actually show up. And they're, and they're just seeing that their kids are actually talking, and... Think that they could be good friends. So they actually head towards the big butt beach. Let's say it's not dirty yet. It's not full of trash and whatnot. And this is when Deku and Asui actually get to know each other better. And Asui learns that Deku's dad actually sold him. Which she is disgusted by. As well as Asui's parents. <clears throat> I can't believe your dad would do something like that. Well, it turned out when he first saw me, he saw something that was meant to be feared. And uh, he, when he heard me sing, he saw dollar signs. So he decided to kill two birds with one stone, so to speak. Huh, so your voice is that lovely. Oh yes, I could actually trigger beautiful memories, harmful ones, and I didn't put this on on my uh, quirk thing, but I can also control people with my voice. I'll see that. Uh, <clears throat> that's very scary, Midoriya. Uh, yeah, I know. Actually, that's what helped me escape from the Yakuza. So there's a silver lining. You learn more about your powers, yet you technically have res are the result of s some terrible circumstances. Yeah, I really didn't want to have to do what I did, but it was the only way. Hmm, that makes sense, but still, you should be careful when you use that mind control ability. Trust me, I will. Last thing I need is for people to just 
be under my control unless I really need it. Huh, it could be helpful for dealing with villains. Wait, so you want to be a hero? Yeah, me too. Yeah, I really do. So, I really, so yeah, I want to go on and try to be a hero. I want to be a hero too, but, but I don't think I'd be that good at it. Well, how about you train with me for a little while? Since I'm a mermaid, you can, we can actually swim in the water together, you know? It'll be fun, don't you think? Really? Of, of course. I mean, you're the first friend I made since coming out from the, such a terrible place. And it'll be nice to find someone to with a similar court to mine. Uh, okay. Let's see, actually jump in toward, to the water. Also, also, he's having the time of our life, and so is Deku. He's actually having fun while he's swimming. And then Deku actually starts going deeper into the water while Froppy is starting to get a little worried. And then she sees a electric shock coming straight for her. And then she sees that it's actually Deku charging. And she tries to swim away, but Deku, she, he just grabs her. And he leaps from the wall, leaps straight from the water onto the beach, carrying Froppy bridal style. But she's like, please put me down. Uh, oh, uh, really? Do you really want me to? No, but my parents are watching. F fair enough. She's all emba embarrassed, and her parents are, and Inko just looking at her, saying. Yeah, they're gonna get along very well. <laughs> I'm probably just asking him, but what if being a hero doesn't work out for you? What do you have a plan B? Actually, yes. I actually do have something I could fall back on. Remember what I told you that a bunch of villains would actually come to come to my shows just to hear me sing? Oh, yeah, but. That's what I'm gonna do. You're gonna perform for villains? No, I'm no. I'm just gonna be a musician, and I'm a very good singer. <laughs> huh? The fact that people can just stand there just to hear your voice for countless hours as they are getting slaughtered, slaughtered. Yeah, I believe you could do that. <laughs> Actually. I don't want to use that part of my court. I just want to actually sing. Huh. Are you are you good at regular singing? Uh, actually, yes. Whenever I was alone, I would actually practice regular singing. And since I'm a mermaid, it actually gets... My voice isn't, isn't just uh, beautiful, but amplified. Especially underwater. Huh, that's pretty interesting, Mizuku. And with that, they actually go their separate ways. Oh, actually going to train ever so often, up to two months until Asui has to move away. Deku is upset, but he understands. But you almost be thinking, what about Bakugo? What happened to him? Don't worry. Bakugo has learned of Deku's hasty return and has proceeded to treat him with the respect that he deserves. But whenever he doesn't, Deku mind controls him and makes him do super things super embarrassing and takes pictures. And threatens to leave them throughout the school. So, oh, yes. You have no idea why I got planned for that. <laughs> anyway, so it's been a year since Deku got back and he's 
now 11. And Inko has pretty much forgotten about Hazashi, but Deku hasn't. He, he's been planning what he's going to do to his father as soon as he sees him. He's like, no, he, he, he ain't going to get arrested. No, 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 no. He feared me so much, I'm going to keep that fear. He goes to bed that one night. He actually, he actually hears something. He, what are you doing here? He's like, wait, what? Are you a friend? Who said that? Are you enemy? Speak up. Who are you? Someone in need of help. Can you help me? I, I don't know. Where, where are you? You must find me. Help me. Please. And Deku just jolts awake. Like, the fuck what is what is happening? Am I going crazy? And Deku, he's just he's terrified because it was all black. There's no light there at all. Complete and total darkness. And he tells his mom about it, and she just tells him, "Don't, don't worry. It's probably nothing." He's like, "Hope it's nothing." Yeah, me, you, me, both. Last thing I need is to be going crazy after such a, such craziness. <sighs> Seriously, mom. You know what? I'm I'm going by the music store. Uh, I'm gonna pick up some new songs to listen to. Okay, be careful. Aren't I always? And Deku walks out and goes to the nearest record store. <clears throat> this time, who he meets is you. Already know what I'm doing here. He meets Jiro. And she, she's pretty much just minding her own business uh, until Jacob actually bumps into her by accident. Like, what were you going, you. Huh. I, I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. Well, whatever. Just get out of my way. Hey, uh, what band is that? Just. What, you haven't heard of Metallica? No, not not really. Is it, are they any good? Are they any good? How dare you? I, I, I did not mean any disrespect. Yeah. But, here, listen. She, play, she plays Metallica, Metallica song. Let me think. Which one should, should he be listening to? <laughs> Give me a second. Okay. <laughs> she plays for Deku two songs... The day that never comes and the unforgiven, which Deku he he's rocking to this and he's and he just has to he gives a Jiro a quick hug saying thank you because this this shit is awesome. She blushes and she pushes him away. Anyway, so why did you come here to begin with? Well, I wanted to listen to some new songs, so I wanted to actually get some. So. Yeah, thank you for that. Oh, um. Hi, my name is Jiro. Izuku. Uh, so, um, judging for your quirks, looks like you might want to be a musician. Um, yeah, so. Huh, me too. Really? Is that really? Yeah, but I also want to be a hero, so I decided I was going to actually do both a while ago. 
me and my friend were talking about it before she moved. So, <clears throat> I said, yeah, I like doing, I like helping people and I like singing. So, why not be both a hero and a musician? Are you that good a singer? I'm, I say I'm pretty good. Yeah. Hell, oh, actually, I, I can keep everyone in this whole shop mesmerized by my voice if I wanted to. Huh. Okay, I, I see. Those, those are pretty big words you spitting. Like, oh, you dare doubt me? Yeah, I doubt you. Okay. Here. Like, what? Well, I don't want you to get mesmerized. I mean, I can control it to a certain extent, just not completely. So, here, put on these earplugs. Um, okay. She she puts them in her ears, and she, she can't hear a thing right now, but she can see perfectly fine. As soon as Deku actually starts singing, they notice that, well, she notices, at least, that everyone just stands still, staring at Deku, just loving his voice. She's thinking, holy crap. If I could sing this good. And she just looks at Deku. Like, she just has her own story. Okay, okay, I get it. Like, okay. And where she stops singing, and everyone's clapping. Heck, even the store clerk is like, that was beautiful. <laughs> Jill's just looking at Deku, just, whoa, you, what, what's your quirk, a, a singing quirk or something? Deku just smirks and is like, Ashley, it's a mermaid quirk. What? Oh yeah, I'm a mermaid. I can transform into a, a mer full a mermaid to have fish, have human form, isn't that, isn't that the same thing? No. Instead of having a tail, I have a tail and my legs. It comes in handy when it comes to fighting, actually. Huh. So you are pretty special, aren't you? Yeah. But either way, thanks for the music. Sure. And wait, wait. Like, hmm? What's up? Uh, can I have your number? Uh, sure. He he gives her his number, and she, she is pretty pretty happy to have it. Yes, I'll text you later. Okay. Sure. But yeah, I think you could make a great musician. You certainly have good taste in music, if nothing else. Which caused her to blush and, and as he walks away. A few weeks pass, and he's actually been talking with Jiro quite a bit. Actually, getting to know her more and realizing that her father and mother are pretty great musicians. Which he actually has... This is their house before, and he is in love with all the instruments, all the music, lyrics, all that. But that's just littered around the house. Jill is a little bit embarrassed, considering her her parents are very enthusiastic when it comes to music. And they, and Deku actually offers to actually sing for them. Which, she's like, Okay, so yes, let me experience this this firsthand too. <laughs> Say, he tells her to put on her earplugs. He said, "No, I want to hear this. I, I want to see. I want to see what the big deal is." Well, you already seen what the big deal is. Like, fine, I just want to experience with your beautiful voice. In which he just shrugs it off and starts singing. She's getting all these beautiful memories of all the happy times she's been with her, her family. Then she actually starts getting a fancy. Of her and, De and Deku married with two kids. And, and she's just imagining them consummating their marriage. 
blushing. Which caused her to blush crazily, and Deku's like, okay. He, he sees this and is like, maybe I should stop singing. And he does. Gio, Gio just sheds a tear of happiness, and her parents do it as well. And she says, please sing again. It's like, what, please? I was having a, a beautiful fantasy. Like, a what? Like, um, my future as a mu musician. Like, oh, okay. And he actually sings for them for at least thirty minutes, and he decides to go home. But meh. but just then, Jiro asks me, um, uh, "I've been thinking about this whole hero thing. Like, really?" Yeah, you said that you're going to be both a musician and a hero, right? Yeah, what about it? I was thinking about doing that too. Who knows, we might even be able to make a band together. <laughs> I'd, I'd like that. You're pretty fun. Really? Yeah. Who knows, we might we could actually be a duo when it comes to both hero work and our music. I think we can make sweet music together. She blushes at this and actually punches him in the arms like, Ow, what the, what I, what'd I do? Nothing. I just wanted to punch something and he was the closest thing to punch. That makes no sense. He doesn't have to. Anyway, he, he just rubs his arm and and a little pain, but he just walks off. She was blushing bead red and thinking, why did I do that? He probably thinks I'm weird. And her parents catch on to this, like, oh, so that's going to be our, our future son-in-law, is it? Like, no. No, it's not like that. We're just friends. If you're not careful, that is all you're going to be. And she actually, yeah, she thinks about this. Like, oh, yeah. But she puts it on the back burner. She's, right now she's, uh, she's a little too much. She's spent right now. Okay. Now we're going to have a time skip to when Deku's 14. He and Bako rekindled their friendship. And him and Jiro have actually gotten closer as well. But Deku keeps thinking about... Froppy, wondering how she's doing. And unbeknownst to him, Froppy just moved back. And, you know, the whole thing is in a middle school, yada, yada, yada. But this time in the overpass, Deku actually notices the sludge villain. And this time, he sings the sludge villain to, to sleep. And as soon as All My shows up, he... Deku isn't a fanboy per se. He still likes All Might and asks for his autograph, but still. I think his favorite hero will be actually Present Mike. Considering that Deku has a powerful voice, Present Mike has one too. I think he would also like Midnight, considering that their quirks can actually both put think people to sleep as well as they are very g good at getting what they want. <laughs> if they, or is that Mountain Lady? <laughs> <laughs> oh, but anyway, yeah. De Deku asks All Might for his autograph, even though he's not his favorite hero. And All Might just jumps away with a slush feeling. It doesn't fall, and Deku just continues with his training. He does get. Slight glimpses of what the hell was talking to him, but he can't really make out what it looks like or where it even is and why it's asking for help. So he just keeps that in the back of his mind for now. Just wondering. Huh. Where are you? 
And I think that would be a good place to end this. Yeah, it's been it's been a while, hasn't it? Hold on. Yeah, it's been a while, huh? We got some y'all must have thought I forgot. Which no, I haven't. I just was wondering what kind of story could I do with this? How can I really continue this? I had so many scenarios to how I can do this. It's not even funny. But huh. But this picture is awesome. Hold on. Let me see. Huh. Seriously. This picture is dope as hell. I really I'm really happy I found it. <laughs> but anyway. Yeah. I am out. The peace and the love, children.